All right. Hello, Idiots on Parade, the Too Ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. Hello, Jake. How's it going? All is well here. That is Jake Vevera, stand-up comedian in New York City. I am Nathan Timmel, stand-up comedian in Iowa City. And uh, I have an update for you, Jake. I have an yeah. update. Let's close that. Let's open. Where are you? Let's open this. Astute viewer, Solar Lass on YouTube, uh, was a better a better researcher, a better Sherlock Holmes than we are. Last week, we talked about uh, the woman who went to Mexico and got boob implants when she didn't want boob implants. Sure. We, we looked at her picture. We speculated, I don't know, 70, 75, 80 years old, something like that. Solar Lass looked everything up 65 years old. Wow. If you remember that picture, that was a rough 65 because I was not trying to be a dick by saying 70, 75, 80. Like, no, that, that, that she, she was a uh, uh, weathered. So solar Lass, good research on your part. Well, I also did a little bit more research on her and that picture was taken before the boob implants. Uh, the ones afterwards, she looked so good. I subscribed to her only fans. So it, made her look 20 years younger she should be thanking those 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 uh uh, uh saints that Mexican gave her the boob implants instead yes. of doxing them <laughs> all right did we just cut out oh i uh, you disappeared my whole screen disappeared at one blank all right let's jump it's kind of lagging things. on me a little bit for sure yeah no uh, uh what do you want to talk about let's 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 get this out of the way up front uh, let's let's talk about matt rife for a second I'm. I, did you know who he was before he blew up and came out of nowhere, or were you like me, where you had never heard of him, and then suddenly he was the hottest comedian in the world? No, but I'm also like, I feel like this happens a lot, and he's kind of getting a lot of shit because they're like, he put out a bad special on Netflix. It's like, get yeah, well, I, I get in line for that. Yeah. Uh, it, well, he's certainly did you not watch the first. The I don't have last. Netflix, so I didn't see it. Did you watch his special? I know you no, watched no, one. No. Okay. Well, I people are ragging on him because of the opening joke is what I understand. Okay. And when I read the article, it the I I, I don't know I don't want to complain about it. the only thing I have. So he, he joked about domestic violence, and he followed it up with saying, uh, uh, I, "I'm confused more than anything." He joked about domestic violence. Uh, if it's funny, do it. That's my opinion. You and no subject is off the table. And then when people complained, he posted on Instagram and said, "Hey, if you have a problem with my joke, uh, click here. This will help." And it was to um, uh, a, a site that sold helmets for disabled people. And that pissed people off. Um, sure. My only problem with all of this is when you read the joke, it was I saw a woman with a black eye and with my friend. We went to a restaurant. She was the hostess. He said, put her in the kitchen. He said, well, if she could cook, she wouldn't have a black eye. And I'm like that. That's an old joke. That's I don't have a problem with the, the subject matter. I, I like Netflix is that lazy and doesn't care. Like no one along the way said it, it's kind of tired, but then the disabled thing, I don't care about that either, but why I'm confused. Why not just link to tissues? Like if you have a problem with my joke here, Kleenex and then cry. Like, I guess well, that's, I that's, don't know. If anything, I think it's a good move by doubling down. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I think doubling down is a good move. I'm just, I'm saying double down. Right. With Kleenex is that I, said is it's, it's kind of like, um, I, I mean, it's clearly a situation with him where, I, again, I haven't seen his comedy. I, I just, you yeah. know, I, I know him just because he got so big or whatever. And it, 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 he, he's one that kind of blew up through like a lot of the crowd work. Um, yeah. Yes. Posts and things like that. And there's a lot of people that are great with crowd work, but their actual bits have something that you know, leave something to be desired. So, yeah. I, I mean, it seems like that's kind of the situation. And, and he got pretty big because he's a young, good looking guy. And it's like, well, that's it's not the first time that somebody has gotten really big, really quick and stand up because they're good looking. You're, and you're freezing their, a their lot. first special is not great. Be you're no, freezing um, a lot. I didn't hear you said who's special. Oh, just it's not the first time that's happened with a stand up where they're yeah. they're young, they're good looking. They end up getting a, 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 a an you want HBO, to disconnect and try again. Something. And and it's not that great. What's up? Sorry, I think I think there's like a lag. Should we? Uh, yeah, there's a huge. You you keep freezing. Do you want to disconnect and try? Again? Yeah, let's let's disconnect. I'm I'm just gonna bounce off.
All right. Quick edit. We were just discussing Matt Reif. And but you you've made the point that this happens. Um, usually what I, I've seen it happen is when you have a, a yearly special, it's really hard to write an hour. And so like a really good solid hour. So usually it's, oh, they've come up with a great first special and then the 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 machine wants another special so they just sure that happens too yeah Yeah. it happens too so it's just funny that uh i don't i don't know it's it's also a matter of i think once anyone gets big you just automatically get attacked and so someone's not right oh what am i going to do i'm going to write about matt reif Uh, i don't like this joke fuck it i'm writing an article and i'm going to tear him down you get built up oh matt reif came out of nowhere this is amazing oh now he's so big let's uh let's let's pick on him and so yeah i i this is what we do in america we 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 idolize people and then we tear them down it's it's an interesting hobby we have i just wish that um the biggest complaints against me was that I'm too young, too good looking and too successful. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You know, I get I get shit for, for the opposite of all of those things, you know, old, fat and ugly. God damn right. Ah, uh, well, I mean, good for Matt. Good for his success. I, I don't know anything. I just it's just interesting being on the outside watching in. But the, the neat thing is, is the way he handled it, like I said, we call it right. Double down. Like you don't want to automatically pander like, oh, my goodness, I'm so sorry. I apologize for that joke. Good for him for staying the course, because the only way out is through. You can never make these people happy. The more you apologize, the more they they look for faults so that you can continue to apologize. And he he he's like, nope. Like I said, I, I don't understand the reference. Maybe link to Kleenex like you cry babies. But, you know, he didn't he didn't apologize or pander. So good for him. Well, yeah, I mean, it would. If anything, that would do him damage because he he got really big just on the internet through his own little organic. Yeah. He did it on his following. own. He, he said he no manager wanted him until he blew up because that's the right. The people they have to worry about. Oh, these people got uh, offended by this or that, and like, yeah, hey, I, it's pretty tasteless, fucking, you know, making jokes about women getting beat up or, or whatever. But it's it's like, well, y- you know, who's gonna fire him? is the thing is there's yeah. no one somebody who just has a big following and stand up and they they've built it on their own and people are buying tickets they can only get canceled by their own fans you can Louis bitch C. about K. it all you want if someone's going to come and buy tickets to see them there's not a whole fuck of a lot you can do now if if, if your whole thing is like well i want to be on on these networks and things like that and movies yeah 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 now those people have to really watch watch the fuck out because directors and production companies and things like that are are, are really going to be nervous about this kind of thing because they're like, Hey man, we don't want to get like all of our stuff, you know, boycotted, whatever, yeah. because of this one little thing you're doing over here. When we have 57 other things, we kind of like to all keep money. So keep making money. So like I, I they'll, they'll chop them off, you know? Well, let's segue. First of all, I, what I was saying, Louis C.K., still tours. Jeremy Piven, when he got Me Too'd, went from acting straight into comedy and be like, no one cared. Like, just oh, we'll see Jeremy Piven. It's the guy from, uh, um, it's Ari Gold. I can't think of the name right. of the show. Right. Yeah. Entourage. Entourage. And then uh, uh, Chris D'Elia, still tours. Like, he got taken out of that Netflix movie, but he still goes and sent, like, as long as your audience is there for you, that's the the plus side of being a comedian. But let's talk about getting uh, a so-called canceled because I sent you several articles. Melissa Baria. Oh, I thought that was a I thought that was a hyphenated name. Melissa Baria breaks silence after scream firing. So uh, she tweeted out some things about Israel, Palestine, and she got fired from a movie. And was it my take that she wants the Hindus to win? <laughs> it should have been. Now, yeah, I, thought, I want I, her canceled. I'm team Hindu. Uh, I had it open, then I closed it. Oh, here are all her statements. She said a horrible, horrible things, which if it would pull up, uh, such as I love my Jewish friends. I stand with you in these horrible times. I empathize with your fear and pain. Jewish children are dying. Innocent Jewish people are dying. Palestinian children are dying and have been dying for decades. Innocent Palestinians like. I don't see the whole, uh, you know, why is it that here at the end, it gets a little iffy. Why is it that a designated terrorist organization is that, but a government is just acting out in self-defense? Well, kind of because the terrorists punched first in this case. And I don't know if you saw the headline today, they're releasing uh, hostages, including 
I don't know, a four year old child Hamas right. took. Yeah. You can't really play both angles like you're trying to play when, again, we've said this one side is pointing guns at civilians and the other saying, look, and we've we've said this is not right. You have people hiding under this hospital. So we're going to bomb. That. Neither side is right, but you can't. There's a reason one side is, but she, she got fired. And uh, my favorite part, where was I going to say it? She said, I will not be silent. You're, you're an actress. You, you, nobody wants to, nobody cares anyway. They just want to see you in a movie. Like they, they don't care. Yeah. I mean, but, nope. And I didn't, I didn't really think that what, cause in general, I don't like seeing people get fired for like tweets and yeah, you know, their, yeah. their politics, unless it's insanely extreme. I, it's a little out there, but I didn't think it was really uh, extreme enough to warrant. Oh, now she can't fucking work anymore. Right. Now it's, it's certainly one-sided, but I, there's a lot of one-sided stuff that's uh, pro Israel right now to where it's like, well, they're, they're not taking into consideration that the occupation that's been going on for all these years and things like that. So I, you can be, too one-sided on this issue um no matter what side of the fence you jump on and i she's pretty one-sided that said it's well she is not... but let me interrupt i did i forgot about this tweet she said as we all wake up to what is happening and has been happening in gaza and see if for what it is let's understand just like all palestinians are not hamas all jewish people are not the israeli government she is trying to separate hamas from palestinians right. it, it, it's She's dancing lines while taking a side. But again, like you say, I, I, to get fired for this. Yeah, but that's I mean, we have members of Congress chanting from the river to the sea, which basically yeah. means like, yeah, we want to we want to wipe out the, the Jewish state like that. I mean, so I, I, this to me is not that fucking wild. No, it's not. But it's what's wild is the fact that. I, 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 I do not like Susan Sarandon. I still uh, she she is annoying to me but she just right, hers, was, hers was a little nuttier yeah well, yeah she, she but at the same time was it nutty to and also it's susan sarandon she has a history of this my we talked about this last week with the the the, the companies pulling right. their advertising from twitter it's it's like did you expect something different out of susan sarandon when you signed no. her you didn't see this coming like well she's gonna say something political at some point and we're gonna have to like ooh, that's a bridge too far hers like i mean Go ahead. Hers was pretty nutty because hers was it seemed to be going after like Jewish civilians here, you know, mm, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and basically saying, well, they deserve to be attacked. I mean, that's what it kind of or at least defended it, you know, uh, yeah, and, yeah. and here's what, what kills me about like that. A, we're, we're, but, you, Jewish people are finding out what it's like to be. Yeah, it, 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 right. It's yeah. fucking nuts. And it's like, dude, if here's here's what bugs me about Susan Sarandon and this whoever the fuck we're talking about now hey did you fe defend melissa morano or whatever like the lady from the, the star wars movies no you didn't you probably applauded from on top of oh right your, right uh, your big blue fucking palace so ronda rousey what was her name i know who you're ronda talking rousey. about no, no but yeah I, I i don't you know and so it it the the very same people who are gonna get upset about um uh uh you know, losing jobs or whatever because they're being Gia Carano. Yeah, yeah, and and so it, it the the if if a if a right winger would have said that, you know what I mean? What she said about well, it's like yeah, there's a lot of anti-Semitic attacks, but you know now these Jewish people know how conservatives feel <laughs> like like being attacked all the time. You know, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Or like like by Antifa for going to a speech, and now Antifa is trying to beat him, and now now these Jewish people know what it's like. If if a right winger would have said that. Like these same motherfuckers who are going, oh, I'm just being attacked for taking a position or, or whatever. They would be calling for that person to be fucking crucified. So yeah. I, I have a hard time feeling bad for these people who, yeah, I don't I don't think they should necessarily get the consequences they, they are, because I, I, I believe that even if it's something I don't agree with, unless it's very, very extreme calling for violence, whatever. Right. Um, it, it, you know, you sh you shouldn't lose jobs and stuff over it. But the people who happen to be losing the jobs this time, the college students who are all fucking pro Hamas and all this shit, and so they're losing jobs and 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 getting booted, whatnot. Uh, these are the same assholes that would have picketed any kind of Ben Shapiro, any of that shit from talking at a school. And, oh, silence is violence, and this is violence, and everything's a goddamn hate crime. Till I fucking do it, you know.
it's it's um the 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 quote the 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 roosters coming home to nest i can't i'm drawing a blank on the actual quote but yeah they, they love cancel they culture. come to fuck the rooster that's right yeah, they come and the f- rooster fuck them oh i'm coming to fuck the rooster i don't know <laughs> uh but yeah it, it comes home uh, coming home to roost that's what it is the chicken they're coming home to roost it, it's you 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 cancel when it's uh justified but then when it happens to you but i was just doing and, and, and good on both of them both melissa and uh susan they both came out and said okay fuck you this is what i believe like they didn't right they did the same thing as matt they're like i'm not backing down like oh i'm sorry please take me back in your movie like no they said right. fuck you i'm and so they, they didn't pander and show up with like uh curly sideburns or whatever going <laughs> like they didn't yeah yeah they didn't, right. they didn't try to lie and backpedal and pander and pretend they didn't say the thing they said like that uh that that uh i don't know her name that actress we talked about who dre- when is amber heard and johnny depp for halloween oh i'm so sorry i didn't mean to dress up as a- yes you did you didn't accidentally dress up as, like this was not a last minute Hey, uh, let's go out as Johnny Depp and Amber. You put time and effort into this. And then when there was a little backlash, seven really stupid assholes on Twitter, for some reason you pandered to them. And, oh, I did not mean to just fucking own it. Say it's Halloween. I thought it'd be funny. Some people liked it. Some people didn't eat a dick if you didn't like it. Right. Yeah. And I I, I mean. Dressing up as Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is such a smaller thing than basically implying that Jewish people should get beat up because now they know how it feels to be Muslim. Like that, that was from a really liberal progressive lady that fucking said that shit. And after getting canceled for dressing up as Amber Heard and Johnny Jepp, now she knows what it's like to be Jewish and Muslim. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Now she got the grumpy on her bed. That's right. And now Now we're getting canceled because I just said that. Wait, (laughs) oh, this is just going round and round. No, it's, it's, it's amusing. All right. uh, So, uh, oh, I didn't send you an article on this, but did you happen to see Elon Musk's follow up for his lawsuit against Media Matters? I may have. I don't, I don't think so. No, he, I wish I had it in front of me. He had one quote. I'm just doing a call back to last week. Um, he, he's he's unhappy because he, he said uh, someone said uh, Jewish people hate white people. They're trying to overthrow white people. And he's tweeted, you are speaking truth. It's like. All right. That's that's a pretty interesting stance to take. Oh, oh yeah. Now you want to talk about real in your face and right. for no goddamn reason whatsoever. Like, Jesus Christ. Well, at, so- least, at least when people go hard at like Israel or whatever, like like from on behalf of the Palestinians, it's like, all right. Palestinians have had some reason to be peeved, not yeah. saying it justifies what Hamas does, but like. No. If I'm a Palestinian, I'm pretty fucking annoyed at Israel. Like that, yes. you know, you got to get that point too. Like it, it um, that said, Elon Musk's thing, I, that was like, dude, what are you? That was, yeah. It's so, so wild. So Media Matters came out and said, this is what Twitter um, facilitates now is this hate, this anti Semitism. And they, they showed, um, I don't know exactly what it is. I don't have the article in front, but they showed, uh, hate tweets, anti-Semitic tweets, and then ads for companies right next to it. Like, hey, when you scroll, you see a tweet that's horrible. Then you see an ad. Then you see a tweet that's horrible. So Elon Musk, what he came out and said is, I'm suing Media Matters because what they did, and I wish I had, I'm paraphrasing. I wish I had the quote in front of me. He said, they followed very specific accounts and refreshed the screen until they got what they wanted. Okay, yeah, they're yeah, not going to be following... Works. You yeah. know, uh, uh, you know, um, I I can't even come up with a name. Then I got to follow just any random person and hope it's going to happen. They're going to follow hateful accounts and they're going to wait for an ad to pop up. It means it's in the system. It means it is in the right. system that you have hate speech and it ads. Still counts for points. Sorry. There's there's a difference between refreshing a screen and waiting for what you want, and then maybe like okay, photoshopping. Yeah the two together if they took a screenshot it's a screenshot doesn't matter if they refresh the screen a thousand times they followed a twitter account that did the delivered anti-semitic hate speech and then finally saw an ad and that's what they showed maybe it took some effort to get there but that's what (laughs) dude i i hope they find one where they're like well we're we're gonna pander to the niche and and you know you'll see like an ad that says jews will not replace us and it also won't replace the bold flavors of the 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 McRib back now in McDonald's. <laughs> it's here to stay. <laughs> we're not letting we're we're not letting uh uh the chosen people take it out of the restaurant. 
I thought you were going to go a different direction, which is where they have the uh, anti-Semitic, uh, you know, like Jews will not replace us. And then right below that, my pillow guy. And they interviewed Mike Lindell and he went, yeah, that's my base. So that's all I'm selling to these days. Nobody. I got canceled by Walmart and Bed Bath and Beyond. This, this That's where I want my ad. Where I you know, think they can make a more marketing, comfortable targeting. pillow than me. They can't. <laughs> They're not going to replace my pillow or your pillow or any other pillows. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, did you hear the video of him uh, going going nuts during a, like it was like a deposition or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, oh, we're, you're so just good. an asshole. You're an I'm asshole is what out. you are. No, they don't have lumpy pillows. My <laughs> pillows are. Do you even own on my pillow? It's not lumpy. Yeah, that like, like they said that I know it that, that oh, you're on trial for much more serious things than having your pillows too lumpy. What are you what are you doing thing. here? This makes you look unhinged. Well, that that clip was taken out of context, but every article I've read said the reason they showed that clip is he was fine with everything. Hey, you're being sued for this. I'm in the right. Hey, uh, you lied here. Ah, bullshit. Dominion. Bullshit. Your pillows are lumpy. What? The f like he, he was handling everything with the instant lumpy pillow hit. That's when he lost his fucking mind. Everything else was fine. Throw everything in the kitchen sink at him. He'll just shrug it off. But lumpy pillows, that's where he lost his shit and started calling the guy an asshole. <laughs> I mean, if you think the my pillow guy gets mad about elections not going his way, wait till you actually talk about his pillow. Holy oh. shit. We thought he was nuts before. That's yes. how you really get him going. Well, one hits close to home. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I've already we've already talked about Matt Rife. Can't, this, this I can't believe, Jake. It's 2023. Dateline on this is Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. We're not going back to 1950 here. This is this is this year. And it's also you look, it's a public school system. We're not talking about a private school with some backward ass rules. No, no. This is a public school system. Kansas school demands Native American student cut his hair to attend. An eight-year-old Native American boy who had grown his hair out to honor his ancestry was made to get a haircut after being threatened with suspension from the school, the American Civil, Li American Civil Liberties Union of Kansas said. Okay, first of all, personal opinion, uh, you don't even have to throw in why he's growing his hair long. That's immaterial. It makes it worse that he's doing it, that, that they did that to him because he's doing it to honor his his heritage. And you see a lot of native men with long hair. The sheer fact that they said, hey, fuck you, you're a boy, cut your hair. That's bad enough. The fact that they said it to a native indigenous person who's doing it with purpose, that makes it worse. But how did no one, how did no one, and this goes back to what, what Netflix, how come no one at Netflix said, Matt, maybe you don't want to open with that joke because it's hack. How did no one along the way say, hey, um, this is probably going to blow up in our face. This is one of those things that goes viral and makes us look like assholes because it did. This Kansas thing is in the New York Times. It's It was on Twitter. It, the fuck are you thinking, assholes? Yeah, uh, even even if you're like, hey, uh, I, I, I wish the hair wasn't so goddamn long. I mean, I... You, you have to know you're going to set a lot of money for more money than this. Or you're going to set a lot of court for more money than that entire school district that's worth. I'm telling you, he's going to he is going to boot you out of that school and he's going to make you live on a reservation now. Like you're going to be he's going to sue you out of all of your fucking uh, uh, belongings, everything. He's taken all your all your money. He's going to own that town. Well, after he owns the and the good news about this story is the school district acted decisively. They jumped to and said the policy will be reviewed in December. Oh, well, there you go. So not only are you getting trouble, but you're just going to kick the oh, we'll, we'll look into it. How is this a look into it situation? Don't make kids cut your hair. Now, if you're some dumbass private school with standards and uniforms and whatever, sure. But Todd Ferguson, superintendent of the school district, said in an email that the dress code policy will be reviewed. You're taking tax dollars. The, 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 the you, uh, dress code policy when I was a kid was, hey, you can't have fuck on your T-shirt. That's about it. Other than that, you know, yeah. no nudity. But even as if far it was as... your ancestor's shirt that said fuck, you know, you couldn't have it. <laughs> I lost that one in court, actually. My answer is uh, the only reason I got away with it is they said, fuck you. I'm taking over this land because my ancestors are yeah. honkies. <laughs> no, I made it a whole big thing. I was like, uh, my my father was a fuck and his father was a fuck and his father's 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 father was a fuck. And I I am a fuck, too. 
Yes. Here's here's my favorite part of the story as you read down, and I'm not sure if this is accurate because anything can say, but uh, the school said that he needed to cut his hair to comply with a school dress code policy that requires boys to have short hair, according to the letter, except the ACL looked into it and found the school does not have a hair length policy for girls and a dress code promotes uh, rigid views of gender norms and roles. Uh, you know, it, you're trying to... It, it, they're, they're fighting woke culture is what it is. Like, boys have short hair. It's not 1950. Let it go. Right. And I even, even if I'm putting myself in the position of one of these, like, conservative people that works on the school board, and like, I'm trying, they're trying to turn the boys into girls and the girls into boys, like, whatever. I, I, I'm going to be like, dude, you're, you're trying to go, it's too much of an overcorrection, so much so that even if I agreed with what you were doing in principle, you're going to drive us right into a fucking mountain. Not only are we going to have to give this kid a fuck ton of money, he's going to then be able to show up the next day, not only wearing really nice sneakers, because you know what I mean? He's a millionaire now, but he's going to have his whole head shaved in a mohawk covered in paint. He's going to look like the bad guy from Last of the Mohicans just to rub it in our fucking face, dude. He's going to be wearing nothing but like buckskins and stuff. He's going to buy a nice weave. He, he's going to buy a weave is what he's going to do. I, I, I have to I admit, would show I, if I'm this kid, I'm taking all their money and I'm showing up in full fucking headdresses every day just to rub that shit in. I'm go, I'm going to straight up look like an old school, like like chief, a medicine man, like something. I it is going to be fucking obnoxious. Well, here's the last paragraph. And here's one of the reasons I sent this article, because this is this is where I twist. Uh, this is where I turn it on its head. The organization said that the elementary school's policy impacts Native American students disproportionately and perpetuates a legacy of cultural, psychological and spiritual trauma and discrimination. Um, I think that might be going a little too far. And the reason I say that is because I was a metalhead in high school. I had long hair for a boy. Do not say that natives are more important than metalheads, because I think there were more metalheads at my school than there were indigenous people. So. I want to stand up and fight for long hair for for people that listen to Slayer and Motley Crue. So that's that's this this I, the article made me angry until I got to the bottom. Then it made me super angry because you disrespected my people, my heritage, heavy metal. Fair enough, man. And plus, um, if if you think what the United States government did to the Native Americans was bad, wait till you wait till you look at the history books and see what grunge did to metal. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took it off. It took it over completely. It was done. Oh, it killed it. No, I mean, the didn't put the Cinderella. nail in the coffin. It shot it and killed it and walked away. Cinderella was you guys' sitting bull. It was rough. I mean, they were the last ones. They couldn't get played anywhere. <laughs> they came right at the end of the thing. They were like, oh. Cinderella was standing on top of the, 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 the mountain like the end of uh, Last of the Mohicans. Like one day, all these radio stations will be not ours. There's guys in flannels who are sad and they're they're making fucking whiny rock music. It's not fun. I'll get canceled for this one, but it's not my term. Do you know what uh, we called Cinderella back in the day? Was it Cinderfella? Ah, there you go. that was very clever of us metalheads when Cinderella came along. And if you liked real metal, you didn't like Cinderfella. <laughs> yeah. See, what, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what grunge uh, bands called Cinderella? Shit. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> when the last Cinderella fan fell, there was a cold wind that blew over the plains. Uh, can't believe they sold albums. All right, final story. This, this I, is my favorite. I kind of like Gypsy Road's a fucking great song. I don't give a shit. Uh, you don't know what it's got. Get it it's gone. gone. Yeah, it's good shit. Um, I just finished reading, uh, I think, I can't remember her name. I literally finished it two days ago. Jill Duggar, uh, one of the Duggar girls, uh, broke away from the family, uh, and got married, and is 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 like, she's becoming more normal. Uh, she's she's discovering there's a world outside her family cult. It's an interesting right. book, uh, but that's this this next story makes me laugh. House Speaker Mike Johnson campaigned with disgraced reality star Josh Duggar, one of several accused sex offenders connected to his mentor Tony Perkins. Why is it that these now Christians... you you want to talk about a guy who doesn't want boys showing up with long hair, huh? Mike <laughs> fucking Johnson. Oh, he makes he makes the, the this Kansas school board look like AOC. It's ridiculous. 
But I'm just like, why are all these fucking hardcore Jesus freaks always involved with, well, he loves Jesus, so he's good. Oh, he, he's a pedophile. Oh, well, you know, like they just automatically get the benefit of the doubt because Jesus yeah. first and then quality of character second. And then this happens all the fucking time. Well, they, Business it's Cider because... Review uh, of media postings sound that while he was busy seeking to regulate private sexual behavior, meaning no gay butt stuff, and castigating his opponents as groomers, he was associated with a slew of right-wing activists with a history of overlooking, tolerating, or ignoring sexual abuse of children and teens in their own midst because those teens just needed more Jesus. Oh, it's just always, 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 always. Well, I, I think a lot of them do it. Be, it's it's either like a straight up, they're going that Keep angle. talking, I'm going to close the door. Okay. They're, they're either taking that angle of like the the extremely religious, socially conservative guy, especially on sexuality, to either like like cover up what they're doing so right. that people like a Mike Johnson would look at them and be like, no, that has to be that has to be liberal LGBTQ lies, not Gary, you know, like, yeah, he, and he's, he's like he would never do it. He's a man of the Lord. They're doing that to either completely skate or they're whatever's going on with them either either they're they're either like gay themselves like like in the closet or yeah. they they've got some wild shit like like kid stuff and they're like well, whatever this whatever's going on with me it's clearly the devil so yeah. i have to like pray it out and you know whatever it is whether they're 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 just like a a, a gay person in the closet whether they're they're, they're like actually like a, a pedophile or something I, I would think that if you're a really really homo homophobic dude you would kind of view it as the same like oh this is sinful therefore um i'll pray harder man or harder I'll, I'll 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 pray harder i'll eat my right, vitamins right, right. i'll i'll fucking do all that and i'll you know um and so the harder i preach the harder it's going to cure me of whatever's going on you know whatever they're into that either they think is a sin or is actually like some fucking heinous shit, like, you, you know, involving kids or something or, or German shepherds, whatever, uh, wh well, wh whatever the, the hell is. they're up to. Like, there's something going on with the guy because I think I, I, I mentioned like uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think there's like two kinds of like homophobes. There's either like the casual one who's like, ah, I just, I, I don't, I don't like them and I don't support yeah. it. And I think a marriage is between a man and a woman, but I'll tell you what's really gay is these gas prices and this Medicare, you know, yeah. and, and it would like, but they're, they're onto something else because if they're not um, like actually a closet gay person themselves, it, 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 gay marriage, things like this don't really affect their day to day life. It, it does. It may, they may even be like, yeah, I'm against it. Or, or, you know, the, they they were pissed when the 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 law got changed or or whatever to where it was legal everywhere. But at the end of the day, after a year or so of it being legal, it was well. Now they got to be bitching about Pelosi because gay marriage didn't affect them, right? That that Mike has said he wanted to revisit that standing, but go ahead. Right, that's yeah. if they're type one homophobe, the casual one, you know, um, who might even be very vocal about it, but. Category two is like, oh, I, I need to dedicate my life to stopping this, yeah. this evil devil thing that that's ruining society. It's ruining it. You know, that guy, um, he he probably is closeted gay, you know, or something because he's like, oh, it, it has this like power, you know, and anybody who says like, oh, it's, well, it's a choice. It's like, well. No, that's insane. It like if you're straight, you didn't choose pussy. You didn't it, like it wasn't a social construct. No, nobody with a Bible tricked me into reading Hustlers. You know, it was just <laughs> it's what happened. I found it in my dad's sock drawer when I was like seven. And I was like, I have no fucking idea what this is, but that's awesome. And this is the greatest publication ever made. You know, it wasn't any kind of uh, uh, social construct or any of this, whatever. And so, no, it wasn't a choice to be straight. If you're saying, oh, well. It's a choice to be gay or bi or whatever. It's like, oh, yeah, it is a choice for you. Yeah, You, you chose not to do you, something. Uh, did did I make this reference? You, they yeah. Book of Mormon it. They, they put it in a box and crush it. Like, they, they try and, they, you know, they they turn it into a choice. Right. The right. denial. Well, well, and so, some of them kind of just use the rhetoric of it's a choice, therefore I can yeah. make 
homophobic laws and discriminated against it. But uh, the guys who aren't just standing one way on an issue and just saying they're against the LGBTQ stuff, but the guys will are, are, are like obsess over it. That to me is category two homophobe. And that, yeah. that person is really in the closet or something. And they're trying to, like you said, book There's a Mormon something going on there that's wrong. And it's and they're trying to, and, and if they're obsessing over, and it seems like Mike Johnson is the, I'm going to obsess over it type. Yeah. Be, and I think, I think he's got something, you know what I mean? I, I, I think he's into dudes, you know, I think he's just kind of, ignoring it and i'm gonna i'm gonna uh pray and uh uh do whatever and just not act on it and you know what it being gay is a choice for mike johnson because he's probably either gay or bisexual and he just chose not to act on any of that years ago yeah i mean all we got to do is wait for something to hit plus he kind of looks like a pinocchio if Geppetto turned him into a real boy and then told him to go <laughs> stop gay people from getting married. Like, like it's weird. It's it's weird. Uh, and and you can't dude. That's why category two, the most homophobic dudes nowadays, whether they're politicians or whatever, kind of seem effeminate. You know what I mean? Like that should say something. That should yep. it's you know. It landed on. All right. Uh we got two minutes left. So Jake can be found. At Jake Vevra on all the social media platforms, just that at sign and Jake Vevra. You can find him uh, Thursday nights live. It's on YouTube, the Love Gurus podcast, where they answer questions about relationships. I can be found at NathanTimble.com. And uh, I'm going to revamp my website, Jake, uh, today or tomorrow. The first thing you will see when you go to NathanTimble.com will be a link to my new t shirt store online at T Public. Um, okay, it's up and running. It's kind of difficult to get there right now. If you want to, if you want to get there right now, you have to go to my website and then click find me. And my link tree is there that shows where it is. So I'm just going to put it right in the front of my website. I'll like click here for the t-shirt store. I got about 50 designs right now. And so uh, if you're looking for something for Christmas, for a gift or for yourself, I got all sorts of wacky, wacky, funny, funny, and even nice. poignant. All right. Nice. That's it. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thanks uh, for correcting a solar lass. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you next week, my friend. Later. From the river to the sea, Mike Johnson is secretly thinking about blowing dudes. <laughs>